The chairperson of Parliament's ad hoc committee that will recommend the next public protector, Cyril Klaba, has urged the public to either nominate candidates or apply for the position. This comes as the term for the current suspended public protector, Busisimo Mkobane, comes to an end on the 15th of October. Parliament has already published an advertisement setting out the criteria for the position. Kaba urged the public to get involved in the process. So for more on this, we're joined by Zoom by legal expert, advocate Paul Hoffman. Good afternoon, advocate. Thank you for your time with us here on the ACBC. Good afternoon, Liesl, and good afternoon to your viewers as well. So Advocate Mkobani's term coming to an end, perhaps you could weigh in on how impactful her role as public protector has been to date. Well, it certainly had a big impact on the work of the ad hoc committee who find her success. Uh, fulfills a very important constitutional function in South Africa. It's one of the six the Office of the Public Protector is one of the six Chapter 9 institutions that were created to bed down constitutional democracy in South Africa. So it's very that the chairman of the current ad hoc committee wants the public to participate. Because I think it is clear that the previous ad hoc committee did not appoint the best possible candidate and that it has caused a great deal of expense, heartache and maladministration because the current public protector has not impressed so many people that she is uh, now facing impeachment proceedings, which will probably grind to a halt at the end of her term in October this year. Now, the next public protector, if we comply uh, carefully with the criteria that set out will be a South African citizen who is a lawyer, preferably a judge or an advocate or an attorney or somebody with legal or administrative experience of at least 10 years. You have to be, you have to persuade the ad hoc committee that you are the best candidate on this occasion. And they don't only take your own merits into account, they are uh, alive to the fact that there ought to be uh, gender and race representativity in the Chapter 9 institutions. So uh, it's likely, because the last two public protectors have been women, that men who put their names in the hat will be uh, on the inside track this time around, but that's not necessarily a, uh, a, a killer criterion. It's a question of taking it into account when the uh, committee deliberates. And then when the committee has come up with a candidate, then Parliament has its turn to vote on the suitability of the candidate. And according to the Constitution, in the case of the public protector, you should have 60% in favour vote for the candidate who comes through the selection processes and the interviews which are held in public that um, apply while the ad hoc committee is doing its work. And when that 60% vote is successfully cast, then the president appoints the new public protector to take up a seven-year non-renewable term of office as our uh, to to succeed the current whose term of office ends in October. Advocate Hoffman, thank you for that context. We're chatting to um, Advocate um, Mkobane's tenure to date, perhaps also looking at the criteria for those who are deemed um, fit and proper and the process of appointing the next public protector. On the point of the uh, process of appointing the next public protector, the issue of the time frames coming to the fore in terms of vetting the candidates. Any concerns arising at this point, given lessons from the previous, previous encounters? Yes, I think everybody will remember uh, Makosi Koza as a, a very proactive and fair um, uh, chairman of the previous ad hoc committee 
um, which considered two judges and um, advocate Mkobani as the short list of, of candidates. And one hopes that on this occasion, the, uh, the, the controversy and the failure of the ad hoc committee to come up uh, unanimously with the candidate will not be uh, repeated. It's much better if everybody can uh, see their way clear. Uh, that did not happen in the case of Advocate Mkobani. All right, um, Advocate um, Paul Hoffman, thank you for your time with us here on the ACBC.